Because mm -hmm. if our left brain, because my feet are not stuck to the floor, if my feet were stuck to the floor it would be different, because I, mean, I would pull myself down. Uh, you'd have something to pull against. That's it. But I haven't. If, if, if my legs were really fast, and this once happened to me, um, when my back first went, the head was in college, I just managed to suss it out. Mm -hmm. and I, when my back went, it was twisted to one side, and I thought, well, it's just a muscular thing. So I was looking in the mirror, and I was isolating the muscles going from that, and I was like, relax, 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 and I was straightening my back up. And all of a sudden, I got myself straight in that split second. <coughs> I got a pain in my, in my spine. It was just like a red-hot knife being rammed into it. My legs just folded up, and I just collapsed. Told you. <laughs> yeah, my legs went up in the air. So my legs folded up. And I was there, for, I, was, I was like hovering in mid-air for that split second before it just collapsing. Why happened that? Yeah, it's just because I straightened things up, but the vertebrae just nipped on the, the spinal cord. So it was, um, oh, no. uh, it was, I've never, uh, it's never felt pain like that, like a sharp pain like that. Never like But that's what happens, so it just made a difference. If, if I lift my legs up quick, I just drop. And, we, and that speed of the drop is due to, due to gravity. And it's a physical force. Yeah. It's constant. And you accelerate at 9.8 meters per second per second. You know, so, but that's the actual, so that's the actual physics of it. Well, there was something in that. <laughs> but that's actual, just that. Yeah, just... That's why you can't make yourself drop any faster. All you've got to do is relax. So it's a relaxing thing. To relax, how much you relax helps you speed them up. That's it. Create speed. The attention, just before the end, just allows you to assume your stance. What you're actually doing, you're dropping into a stance. Yeah, dropping, yeah. In. dropping into a stance. And, and that's what's creating. Right. So, you're, you're, again, so you're linking that drop, that dropping, momentum with your turning momentum which if your foot's out there you actually generate down and drop into your stance along yeah, with this along right. with your arms so we're building all these things in those are the component parts that's how you start analyzing your strength if we start looking going out then it's a different about the energy is going out then i can look at strength of the leg then we're looking into using leg muscles going up off the ground when it's coming in, you're looking at dropping from a bigger drop of momentum. That's like what you've just done is dropping your weight to lift up. Well, I'm dropping into a position where I'm in a good position to then drive off. So I drop on from that. <laughs> when, I, when I drop into a stance, I'm in a position now where I can then drive. Yeah, you get into your driving position straight away. So again, we're looking at the positions, we're looking at what are the fact. So again, it doesn't make a difference. So really once you've dropped, you won't have to adjust your position, you're ready to drive. That's right, so if I move out, right, I move down into a stance. Again, this yeah, idea. Yeah, yeah, not. That's it. Yeah, another adjustment. Say, Gary said, because um, <coughs> he's heard this idea, what you do is you stamp on the floor. Oh, right. Yeah. You stamp it out. Right. This idea when you, so you stamp down that you're bouncing off the floor. But it's not. You don't bounce. What actually happens is the only way you'd be able to bounce if you did it with a straight leg and it would wreck all the joints. What happens is when you're again, if you're dropping down, your muscles are having to take the drop. And they're committed as well, aren't they? Well, yes. But the, the main thing is what actually happens when I'm dropping, right, so if I drop down, mm -hmm. right, your muscles are having to be used to react against to, to stop this drop in momentum. So if I just drop it, my muscles have to tense right up. Because you've gone past that point where they can stay relaxed. Well, no, because <laughs> I mean they have to tense up just to hold the position. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah. apart from apart from just holding the position, they've got to deal with this extra momentum dropping down on them. Yeah, so yeah. the more you drop down, the more your muscles are having to work just to, to make it harder to drop as well. You don't make it harder to drop, the drop's the easy part. What you actually do is you just want you, you get it's harder to stop. Yeah, you've got no control over it. Less you got less, you got less it's basically taking up time and energy. Rather than just actually sort of drop moving it and yeah, 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 drive yeah. off. So you're minimizing them on actually then you're just actually looking into your structure. Yeah. So then you're going into so you look at structures and actually how you operate. Yeah. So this idea of stamping off the floor. It's, a, it's just a mistimed use of energy. Right. Because if you just place your foot in drive, it's much better. Because if you, if you, obviously this is idea of pushing off. But that yeah. is the same as that. 
It's only that there hasn't, it's not, there's, there's no gap. There. No, the, the only real difference is the fact that I'm before, <laughs> I'm losing energy by not using me, not using it straight off the floor, I'm stamping out first. Yeah, yeah. Um, You're doing some of it by, by yeah, stamping. By stamping. You could say, no, you could say yes, but your legs traveling faster and whatever I'm from. No, that would be kidding you, so, to the reality of what's happening. Well, I, I can see how possibly you can start coming in, but, but what you'd be doing is, what, the only thing you'd be doing is it would be like, uh, you'd be putting more pressure on your joints. Because it's, cause what you'd be doing is you get, again, you'd be getting to the side of your stomach, yeah, you stomp on the floor. It's, you're going, it's going fast. Crazy things have to accept that and then drive and carry on driving. It's, it's something that, it's, again, if you don't think through everything, yeah. it can seem like a nice idea, because so the harder you stop, the more you feel it. Yeah, yeah. You just move off it, you don't feel it. But it's actually more, it's a more efficient use of your energy. You're just moving into positions and then driving yeah, off. Yeah. So we foot lands and then drives. Yeah. You don't drive before you hit the floor because then you just stamp it. You know, you're waste. You're not, you're not in control. Just leave it. It's from this position. Right. I've been through it before. Get to the position, a strong position. Anything happens. Do you then react to it? Yeah. Get to the position, then you can react to whatever. Get to a position that you're strong, then you can react. Get to a position that's strong, react. Position that's strong, and yeah. stop. Position that's strong, stop. Allows you to think. Yeah. Stop, think. Stop, think. Stop, think. Stop, think. Stop, think. Yeah. Stop, think, think. Stop, stop. Shifting body and positioning off my heel, 
which heel I can use, which energy I can use off the heel, which mm -hmm. structure is strong, which uh, tweaks I have to change. Positioning here, making sure the alignment of the arm is off my centre. Cover. Nice some safety. Yeah. Looking for a more a different feeling. Searching out, asking for the hand. 